So you're headed on your next trip and you're ready to bring your film camera with you. You probably already know that when you fly with film, one of the easiest ways to ruin your film is by sending it through the x-ray machine at airport security. No one wants that. After spending all your hard work, time, and energy shooting the most gorgeous shots on your trip, you don't want to go through the x-ray machine and then later finding out that that totally ruined your film and made the images really foggy. In this video, I'm going to give you a few tips on how to handle your film when going going through airport security and manage your film while you're traveling with it so you can avoid a terrible mishap. All right, let's get into it. Hi, I'm Jen and I'm always on the run around the world. For those of you who haven't met me yet, I share content on travel, mindful living on my channel. I traveled all over the world with my Canon A1 film camera. I've gone to Colombia and Mexico with it and I've definitely had a couple mishaps along the way and some best practices that I've learned. So I'm ready to share that with you today. So I've learned a few tips from my own experience, but always, you know, assess what works best for you. And remember, there really are no guarantees, unfortunately. First, tip number one, you're gonna wanna store all of your film in a clear plastic bag, kind of like this one. This is kind of old and crinkly after <laughs> many uses but see how like my film is clearly visible just in a clear plastic bag and also the best thing that you can do is actually keep it in the original packaging so the tsa agent or any security agent if you're traveling abroad can clearly see like okay this is film like we know what to do with this. I've had many security agents not even open the bag and look inside it because they can just clearly see what's inside the bag. Like, oh, it's film, you know, and they've handled that so many times before. Okay, my second tip, tip number two, always store your film inside of your carry-on bag. So don't put it in your check bag. This might go without saying, but as you can imagine, your check luggage is going to get tossed and thrown around. You don't know what's gonna happen to your film if you put it in your check bag. And it's probably gonna be subject to a whole lot more radiation and x-ray machines because check bags just like get, you know, x-rayed up the wahoozy. So yes, keep your film inside your carry-on. If you're bringing a backpack, that's probably super ideal. Okay, so also in your carry-on, keep your film in a place that's easily accessible. Something you can just open your bag real quick, it's at the top of your bag and you can pull it out. And then most importantly, you're gonna ask the security agent to hand check your film. So yes, that leads me to tip number three. Tell the security agent to hand check your film, ask politely, be kind. And if you're traveling abroad internationally, try to remember the phrase in the native language. Oh, could you please hand check this? Or only, you could just learn like two words, like by hand. And usually the security agent is gonna know what you mean. Pull out your film, hand it to them and say, please by hand. And I haven't had that many issues doing this. Now, you could also consider buying a lead lined bag to protect your film when it's going through the x-ray machine. Some people say this is really effective. However, I personally think that they're gonna have to increase the power of the x-ray machine to see through that bag anyways, to see what the contents are. So this might actually damage your film anyways. I will put a link to one of those in the description below, but it's probably just a better bet just to get your film hand checked. So tip number four, my fourth tip, set a reminder on your phone that will pop up when you arrive to the airport to remind yourself that you have film in your carry-on bag. This might seem a little bit obvious, and obviously for people who travel with film all the time, you're gonna remember. But if this is your first time traveling with film, you might actually forget that you have film in your backpack. <laughs> this definitely happened to me once, um, so if this happened to you already, don't worry about it, don't sweat it. Having an iPhone reminder can actually be super handy, and you can actually change the settings on that reminder 
to say when I arrive at LAX, pop up and remind me to take film out of my bag. So I definitely did this once. I completely forgot that I had film in my bag because I was hurrying and rushing to get my to my flight. I was already running late. So I just like put everything on the conveyor belt, like went it through and I actually, you know, this was on my departing flight to my destination. So I didn't know if I was shooting with a, a completely bad roll of film the whole time. And it wasn't until I came home that I found out that the images looked okay. There's a little bit of noise on them, but yeah, the ISO was 400 and under on all those rolls. So fortunately I was fine, but you don't really want to risk it. All right, my next tip, tip number five, wind your roll in your camera beforehand. Don't leave a roll of like halfway exposed film inside the body of your camera. Just finish that roll, you know, even if you're at shot 12 and you have an hour until you have to head to the airport, just shoot, shoot the entire roll. Because I tried doing this once when I was in Mexico and I was in a flurry and stressed and we, the agent at security actually touched my camera and opened up the entire back and exposed the whole roll. This is probably like the biggest nightmare experience that I've ever had at security. Unfortunately, and in the flurry, it was just so stressful. I didn't have a chance to stand aside and rewind it. And um, the agent tried to help me out and he just popped open the whole back of the camera and all of my uh, shots came out blank after that. So definitely just shoot if you're in the middle of the roll, try and plan ahead so you know okay, I have a day and a half left. I can go through this much film in that amount of time so that everything, all of your film is in this little baggie by the time you get to airport security. Tip number six, keep your film in a dark area, ideally a cooler area while you're traveling with your film. So if you're going to a really hot and humid location, try and keep your film at the bottom of your bag. I don't think you necessarily have to go as far as refrigerating it personally. Some people really like to refrigerate their film. I personally don't think you need to do that. You definitely want to keep it out of direct sunlight. So one thing you could do is buy your film at your destination. One pro is it might be a little bit more cost effective to buy your film where you're going if your currency is stronger um, than the country that you're visiting. Also, you totally circumvent the issue of the x-ray and potentially ruining your film when it goes through security. Potential cons, you might not be able to get the film type that you want. For example, when I was in Colombia, I went to go buy film and I got a Fujifilm 800 instead of the Portra that I wanted. I wanted the Portra 400 and it just wasn't available. The film store didn't sell it. So you might not be able to get the film stock that you're looking for. Another con, if you do choose to process your film abroad, if you find a local camera shop and you're traveling internationally, um, you might not know if they're reputable, if how they're gonna handle your film, and that could cause some anxiety for some people, um, for sure. You can weigh the pros and cons for you. Of course, if you're traveling within the US, this might be a little bit of a different experience for you, but even still, a lot of people prefer to have their film developed at the shop that they know and trust. All right, friends, that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to check out more of my videos. I have a great series on Los Angeles and also a great series on Columbia. Stay tuned for more coming soon.